Castle Park, the home of Heart of Midlothian. This is the capital city of Scotland, Edinburgh. And for those of you not quickly observant, it's winter. And I've got a mother and father of a cold, I can tell you. What is inappropriate about this wintry scene for the capital city is that everyone in Edinburgh is aglow with anticipation of what Hearts might do this season. They started off in the league championship race at 150 to one against to win it. Now they're down to five to one against. They're still not favorites, but I'll tell you, they're closing. In a sense, the Ice Age has lasted far too long for Hearts and for Edinburgh. For too many years, this proud city has never been taken all that seriously as a footballing base. Now, they want to put the bunting up for more than the festivals, the way they did for the great Hearts sides back in the 50s. Hearts and the dark jerseys leading in the Scottish Cup final by one goal to nothing. Ball, relieving the pressure right up towards Celtic's goal mouth. Ball, still on the ball. Young to Crawford. And it's a goal! Success after that cup win proved elusive, but in bringing ex-Rangers player Sandy Jard into Tynecastle as assistant manager and player, and in developing young stars like John Robertson, Craig Levine, Derek Mackay, Neil Berry, they've rejuvenated the entire Scottish scene. And one begins to wonder if there is one special reason for it all. I think the big thing is that basically it's down to the players. The players are all playing well. I think the, the last nine games, We've fielded an unchanged team, and we've never needed to change the team because the players have done their job, they're all playing to form, and we've been lucky, we've never had any injuries. Mm -hmm. But you have gambled on playing young players, haven't you, and it's come off for you? Well, uh, when we, me and Alec first came to the club uh, four years ago... You're not the young player, I'm no. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get uh, new blood into the club, and we had to try and get young players through, and uh, we've been fortunate that the young players have managed to come through, and they're doing very well. Tynecastle tucks itself in between tenements and a brewery, giving it a feeling of intimacy with the public, who are now beginning to take the mothballs out of their scarves and take up the habit of supporting all over again. We'll always have atmosphere at our games. And uh, as I say, the players here have got a good rapport with the supporters. And uh, I mean, the support we're getting at the moment is tremendous. Last week we played against Motherwell and we must have taken about 6,000 people through. The week before we went to Ibrox, we took nine. So it's great for the club. They've always got a back in there and they, they really try to lift the players. Would you say that this is perhaps the most exciting Premier Division championship race there's been for a long while? I would say so, mainly because we're involved. But uh, I think the Premier League could be won by the lowest amount of points ever. Uh, at the moment, there's about five teams that could win the Premier League. Uh, obviously, Aberdeen have to be the favourites. Uh, but, I mean, it could go anyway. Now then, Hearts continually, in the past anyway, have had a problem, that is keeping their young talent. Now, can you honestly say that you're going to hold on to players like, for example, John Robertson? Well, for our point of view, the management side, we'd hope so. But uh, at the end of the day, we've got to make sure that players are happy here and uh, they get well looked after. But money is money, and if a big boy comes from the south with a fat wallet, you know... Well, we've already turned down an offer for John Robertson in the region of £400,000, which at the time uh, took a lot of gumption to do. Uh, we've done that and uh, we're in a wee bit better sh shape now than what we were then. Well, why are you holding on to John Robertson? That's a lot of money to turn down. Well, if you've got any ambition at all and you want to win things, you've got to keep on your good players. Uh, good players don't come up that much. What's, he, what's, he, what's his main asset? Well, he's tremendous in the box. He's a, he's a tremendous finisher, left or right foot, and uh, you give him a chance, he'll tuck him away. Congested area, indeed in this, it's in! It's equaliser! Brilliantly by Robertson! Well, you have an opportunity now to tell any English scout or manager watching the programme, are they wasting their time coming to Tynecastle to see your players? No, they're not wasting their time, because they'll come and see a good game, a good team.